Now in my previous video, I reported that back in my kid was heavily true in shade of Finding Mike and his bad kids. And so people didn't like how he was disrespecting Finding Mike, saying he's the one who brought my kill up in this YouTube ish and made him so popular. Now Finding Mike broke the silence and went to his Instagram story to say this. Never play with a dude name. And so people thought that he was referring to my kill, but it turns out to be a warning towards Manny. Because Finding Mike later on gets on live with a few words for Manny, clearing his name name after Manny told a few lies about him and my kill to Maj. Uh, oh, oh, Leah said you uh, touched my kill in an appropriate way or raped him or some shit. Don't ever play with my name like that, boy. I die behind my name, boy. Second of all, them influencers that wanted to work with me, I heard about you, heard how you treated them different because they wanted to work with me. And then we had a meeting. I know you've been lying to a lot of them influencers. We had a meeting. We had one meeting. Well, we had two meetings. First meeting, Kind of straight. The second meeting, you got the. I told you I didn't want to sign no influencer. I didn't want to sign no influencer. I just want to work with them. They gonna benefit. Why? Why? Wham! You come. Oh man, but what are we? What am I gonna get out the situation? I want to present a. Why? Why? Wham! That's when the deal dies. So any influencer that didn't know they couldn't work with me is because Manny bitch ass wanted presents and shit, and I didn't want to sign. Now let's move on to this next topic, cause lately we've been discussing the breakup between Yanni and Troy, and it seems like things are getting messy. As Troy posted a TikTok video that says, "Tell her to come get her ash," implying that do stuff he was truing belongs to Yanni. Troy also went to his Instagram story and he. He put the caption, I give her your wig, it looked better on her. And if you pay close attention to the picture, Troy uses his hand in a wig to make it look like he's with someone. But I hope Troy gets his karma back because I don't like how he played with Yanni like that. Because that's really childish. But anyways, I do want to know how you guys feel when it comes to that down in the comment section below. And talking about Yanni, and after she was saying how she felt disrespected when someone is being cool with her but flirting with her man, Lena then commented laughing emojis under her TikTok post a couple days ago. And so Yanni made a story post stating, I wanna laugh. That's too funny. Now could Yanni be replying back to Lena? Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below.